I'm watching. Lekere go do no chere. Come tiri give him kikiri. Hold on. Lucia, why are you like this? Hey, eh, I'm watching you. It's not ending there now. I'm watching. Chere go do wait. Bangolo. I'm still going to. Hey, the magician is coming. Bangolo, bangolo. No, look, man. Take that one here. I'm watching. Because I, I don't trust you. I didn't end. I did I'm not trust end. you. Bang, bang, yeah, look, bang, go look, look, bang, go look. How many do you have? I'm still carrying. Yes, carrying. Pack, pack, I'm still. Wait. Hey, Gossigi. Hey, Gossigi, feel it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know. I can see you're enjoying yourself. Yes, nice. Let me go and see Papa. Okay. One night. Continue. Say, say, you stop there. Uh, That's uh, the... Hi, Lucy. You see, I stop there. Continue. Say, say, you stop uh, there. Uh, That's uh, the... Hi, Lucy. You see, I stop you here. You see, I stop here. No, no. Scatter the... Ah, oh, Lucy. <laughs> see what you have done now. Why did you scatter everything now? Why would I scatter... Ah! Stop! Is it? Is it? Is it? Why did you scatter... <laughs> ah, thin, I would have won. <laughs> you would have won, but the only thing you know how to do is dance. So let me play you. Something I'm so that you dance. can you wanna dance. Go. Uh uh. We're sorry. Sorry. Eh. Pak pangolok 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 pang. Pak pangolok pang. Eh. Pangolok. Eh. Pangolok. 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 Uh uh. You know I don't know how to dance. How? You Come know. Come and dance. Come and dance. Okay. Come and show yourself. Will Let you? me try. Go there. But you know I'm still a champion. At everything. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, give me the beat. Bang, bang, go, look, bang. Bang, bang, go, look, 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 bang. Ah, ah, what are you doing? What? You're purposely playing it like that so that I won't win. No, now, dance, just dance. Bang, bang, go, look, bang, bang, go, look, bang, go, look, bang, go, look, bang, go, look, bang. Give me this thing. Let me have it. <laughs> At least I won you in this one. What, what? You cannot dance. What? Prepared. Let me see how you two will be showing yourselves around this village as if you are the only good girls in the whole of Mwakale. Ah, when I, Ikema talks, you will come out and say your own. Hey, okay. They say you are inseparable. No problem. Cha cha, no problem at all. 
<laughs> Let's see what happens when this Pepe must have succeeded in dealing with either of you for six good months. Hey, let's see what will happen. Umojima, my foot. You'll be behaving anyhow. Showing yourselves. Showing yourselves. Hmm. Yes. Hey. Ikema. Ikema, the master planner. You are too much. Uh -uh. You were just dulling and allowing tiny things to be, to, to, to be showing off for you. Eh? Hey? You should have done these things now. Nice one. Kept the firewood here. I sense danger. This looks like a hole.
So, how is this? Uh. Will you shut up there? And whose help are you shouting for? Did you did you call for anybody's help when you went looking for the trouble of Mwejima? I know Pama. Who did that to her? Yes. She got more than what she bargained for when she went looking for the trouble of Mwejima. I don't know what she was thinking about when she went looking for their trouble. Eh? Of all the maidens in this in this village, it's Mwejima that she went to look for their trouble. She wanted to separate what she did not join together. Umwejima, are they twins? Not exactly. We were born of different parents. But sorrow brought them together. Sorrows? Yes. It happened many years ago. Their parents were struck by, by strange sickness. So they were brought to Umbokwa, the popular herbalist that lived in the village with her granddaughter. Mm. She tried all she could to save their lives, but she couldn't. They cried day in, day out. They cried their eyes out when they realized that they had no one. They were so, so peaceful, so intelligent, and so industrious. They were like twins. As a matter of fact, you would believe they were twins, except you know their story. Yeah, such was their togetherness that it became the envy of the whole village. The village had no option than to accept them as, as part and parcel of the, of the village. Sad but interesting. I should like to meet these twins one of these days. Here you come again. One of these days. You and I know that one of these days you just said could be the next 20 years. In your case, it is money, business, money, business. You wouldn't have been here today if not that you are looking for a site in the village for you to build your manufacturing industry. Eh? You knew very well that your father and I were childhood friends, except that we were not of the same social class. Well, I am here now, Ichi. Igwa Maka. My son, money is good. We agree. But it will be a bad planning eh, if one makes all the money in this world without thinking of a successor. At this point now, you should be thinking of who will take after you. I was shocked when I learned that there is no woman with you that one could call your wife, not to talk of a child. Eh? So who takes after you by the time you are gone? You should be thinking along that side. I've heard you, Ichi. Can we do business now? <laughs> business? Yes, we will do business. Give me a minute. Let me get the documents. Yes, Ichi. Yeah. A two together. Born of different parents. Yet united by sorrow. A oneness close to none. A single soul dwelling in two bodies. Friends. Friends are the families that we choose for ourselves. True friends are gifts. Special gifts that can help you grow. They're like angels that lift you up. Friendship is a wonderful thing. And good friendship is what makes the world go round. Do you know that in a number of hundred people, you might have only about five good friends. 
friends that stand by each other, friends that believe in one another. You know, it's actually better to work with a true friend in the dark than to work alone in the light. I expect you both to stick to each other. Yes, you are united by sorrow. But you decided to face the challenges of life. You never allowed the sorrow to bring you down. Rather, you decided to change your history. You know, you both became my children when you both lost your parents. And I want to believe that you also take me as a mother. Yes. Now, I, 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 I must tell you about the realities of life. This world is, is not a bed of roses. There are ups and there are downs. And you can't help it because that's the way God has made it. Sometimes you have, you have temptations challenges that come like storm like you see the dark storm in the cloud challenges come that way to you and it is your ability to stick together and fight it that makes you special that makes the friendship worth its while you know someday you both will get married and <laughs> <laughs> move into your husband's home but that must not end the friendship that is when the bond should be stronger because even if you don't live together your hearts are bound together better be there for each other because that is when you would need this friendship. I want you to always have my words as footprints in your heart. Let it lead you through life. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nene, for these words you have spoken to us today. We must say, we truly appreciate. <clears throat> yes, Nene, we do. We truly appreciate you. Just to let you know, Nene, your footprints will remain evergreen in the sands of time. We promise never to fail you, not today, not tomorrow, not even in the future. They say opposites attract. You have to be a mama. Oma. Oma.
Mrs. Oh, uh -huh. Richie. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh <laughs> <laughs> no mm. doubt we are the happiest couple in town. Uh -huh. For God has been faithful to us. Amen. Mm -hmm. be faithful. Mm -hmm. Just maybe we would have been happier if you allow us to have a little current from your home. Just just a little bit so much. <laughs> Please, there is nothing to tap from my home. Let me have my yeah. please have a seat, please. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, honey, please come and sit. <laughs> so, um, mm. Chief Mrs. Uh, Richie, who said there is nothing to tap from, uh, <laughs> one of the most wealthiest homes in this state, who said so? <laughs> I mean, I'm very, very certain that uh, a lot of women, a whole lot of them will pray to be in your shoes. Oh, really? You know, <laughs> being a man doesn't make me an exception. Ah, uh, well, Mr. Odili, you don't strike me as one who thinks money is everything. Mm. There are certain things money cannot buy, you know. And one is? I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. Inner peace of mind. Self-satisfaction. Love. Mm. Inner beauty. Happiness and a whole lot more. Do you want me to go on and on? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 um, might be correct. Mm. But uh, looking at the uh, chief Mrs. Richie Williams here, yeah. I mean, one would bluntly say, You guys have it all. And, uh, ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> well, I would advise you don't judge a book by its cover, mm. be contented with what you have. Okay. That is all that matters. <laughs> mm? <laughs> Well, I give up. I you give should. Up. You won. Okay, you won. Aww. So, um, what about you? You see him? Oh, he's gone out for a meeting. I, I forgot to. Uh, I'm sorry, my bad. Please, what do I offer you guys? Hmm? He's <laughs> with as visitors or what? <laughs> so, are you going there now and come out with a bottle of wine? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm. We don't need anything. Okay. See, if we are hungry, you know I know my way to the kitchen. I will mm. surely sort us out. Mm. <laughs> mm. And I even have the spare key to the kitchen. Have you forgotten? Uh. <laughs> See, let me tell you. Uh. We are here to loot everything in this house. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> we can prepare. Very much prepared. <laughs> The gather must go we brought is uh, just by your doorpost. You don't even know anything. Stay uh, there. Let me shock you. Let me shock you. You came with the Ghana must go. Uh, you will go with the Ghana must go. <laughs> because as it stands, I have changed the key to my kitchen door. And I did that because of you. Yes. So you will tell me what you want to eat now. Or forever remain silent. Who cares? You whether you, my excuse me. Whether you change your keys or whatever, I'll break into that kitchen. Like, like, you see, <laughs> see, tell this your mom. Uh, I am very angry. I will flog her. She can do the You know the plan, right? You know the plan. They are They are hard and she cannot go with her. Hold it. Hold it. Ah, oh, he loves it. <laughs> you see? He oh, loves it. Yeah. Oh, 
loves it. Oh, Alicia, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> so this is gonna look good, 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 good. Yeah. Okay. So good. <laughs> this one, this one. Thank you. you like? Oh. Your menu, Alicia. Right. Yes. Tell my friend, the DPO, yes, I no longer need your services. Sir, why sir? No offense meant. Thank you sir. This is my personal decision. Let them be for people that actually need your services and not someone who doesn't know the next time next time he will pass on so please don't worry I will look after you people just you, go How lonely is the world of a dying man. Every day he toils, works so hard to achieve all the good things in life. For what? The 
one thing that matters the most to him. The one thing that makes his life complete is not forthcoming. Every day of his life, he toils. Every day, bringing him closer to the day of his eventual death. Please stop. Please, I just beg you to stop. Please, 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 your son will have sorrow like a man who is dying many times soon. You were healed. You were healed a long time ago and the doctor confirmed it. The thought that your childless and the fact that you're yet to have a successor is, is what makes you feel like you're dying soon. You just said it. You just said you are fine. We don't have to continue like this. We don't have to go over this issue over and over again. You're a good man. And a good man you will always be. You don't deserve anything, guys. <sighs> you picked me up when I was nothing and made me the woman I am today. You picked me up when I was a teenager. You took care of me. Saw me through school. Made sure I had Everything I ever wanted without asking for anything in return. You are one selfless man who derives pleasure in seeing others happy, even if it's to your own detriment. That is the man I fell in love with. with you. We became one. United as man and wife. Listen, I just want you to know that whatever we are going through today, we will definitely go through. We love each other and, and that is what matters most. I love you and I... Yes, you see. That right there is the problem. The word love. Which is very clear you don't understand. Because if you understood, you would give me the very thing I want the most. A child. Richie. I want a child. I am the only child of my parents. I am an orphan. All these things I am telling for, who am I leaving them for? Susia. Who am I leaving them for? How many years worth of baby things have we stocked that room with? Nothing.
nothing to show for it. If it is not, I've lost my period. I think I'm pregnant. How many times have I heard it? Not once, not twice, not thrice, not even four times. I am the only child of my parents. Who will carry on my posterity for me? Who? Maybe as each day passes by, it, is, it comes very, very clear that the future of my unborn children does not lie in you. So maybe it's best we go our separate ways. Richie. I am not in the habit of sleeping with other women. If not, I'd have gone outside to show how potent I am. But I know I have a child with an African American woman. I dated while I was in the States, before we were married, which you yourself know. I am going to look for her. Richie. I am going to look for my child. And when I find them, I will worship the ground they walk on. I will marry her and make my wife, if need be. Richie. If you have any other child anywhere else, go and look for them. Richie. My world will not come crashing down. <laughs> Who 
<laughs> Our bond love joy. Hmm. God is indeed a faithful God. Oh yes, he is. You know, after all these years, after all these years, he chose to bless us with this cute one. Oh, Irina, <laughs> just like his father. <laughs> Honey, look at this, this cute smile of his. <laughs> Hello. Uh -huh. And who told you he looks like his father? Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> please. Don't even deceive yourself. You've got eyes, yet mm. you do not see. Oh, please. Uh, uh, wait, <laughs> how is it so difficult for you to comprehend that this uh -huh. little... This yeah. little cutie okay. pie, this sugar boo boo, uh -huh. looks exactly like the mother. Stop eh, controlling no yourself. Look <laughs> at how innocent looking right. he is. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, hello, handsome. Hmm? A sugar boy. <laughs> oh, you're in Naya. Look, um, there's a little argument going on between your mom and I. Okay, so we want you to be the judge. All right, don't worry. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll find out, okay? So, um, boy, I want you to take a good look at your mom's face and mine, okay? I want you to tell us whom you took after, okay? See? <laughs> See? He's just looking at me. <laughs> I'm just me over you. Oh, please, can you stop? Thank that is looking at you doesn't mean he chose you. Oh. Excuse me. All right, all right, all right. You win, okay? Yeah. So, let's hear you, okay? Um, hi, I forgot. Uh, look at you. <laughs> wait, 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 it's you that is confusing me. Okay, think. Peter. Peter? Yes. Oh, no, come on. No, it's a no no for me, okay? Mm -hmm. Augustine? <laughs> come on, honey, are you for real? That's so primitive. Come up with something nice. I have it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have it. I have it. John. John. Yes. <laughs> well, that's the worst. <laughs> I mean, why in heaven's name would my son be that kind of name? Why not? John. Why not? Oh, come on. <laughs> John was a great apostle in the Bible, mm -hmm. and he's even is a saint. Mm. Remember, John was the one who baptized Jesus Christ. I'm okay. sure you know what that means. Mm. We're not in the era of Jesus Christ, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is present, okay? I disagree it's... with you. Ah, John is a great name now. He's a saint. Mm. He's, he's an apostle, a okay. very great... Check, okay, even in the Bible, you uh, have 1 John, 2 uh, John, 3 uh, John. Listen, so... listen, listen, okay? When we get to the era of Jesus Christ, we choose that. But now, let's look for something better. Do you even know the meaning of John? Like, do you know the meaning of John? John means Mugu. <laughs> <laughs> like, capital Mugu. You know, I used to have a friend that um, bears that name, John. He acts like a Mugu. Like, it's Pika one. So, people added um, Malifa to his name. Do you know the meaning of that? John. Malive, that means John knows something. <laughs> Honey, look, look, my son can never ever be at that kind of man. I don't want to have that kind of memory. <laughs> Please, uh, just leave me. Uh, me, I don't, I don't even know why you have a problem with John because uh, John is a great name. Uh, he's a great man. He's, he's honey, a saint. Please, uh, can, so we, can I... we stop this? Okay, can we just stop this? Okay, please, let's just stop arguing about this. 
I believe little orderly will be in the best position to choose. All right? So, can we go to him? All right, come on.
She's inside. What is this news I hear about this human and her family? No, it was this afternoon we got the news. Hey. So where's where's Mboka? She's inside. She has not been feeling too well ever since we got that news. Hey! Good if I become. Let me see her. Sister, the pain was too much for her. She couldn't bear it all alone, so she had to be brought back home. So what about her husband's people? No one is on her side. You know how it is with most in-laws, especially when the woman has no child for her husband. Coupled with the circumstances surrounding his death. Wait, don't tell me they are blaming all these things on her. Because it's not her fault. They shouldn't. They should not. My thought as well. I just hope she pulls out from this. This whole thing. The pain is too much for her. <sighs> hey sister, don't worry. She will. Hmm? I hope so. Yeah. So are you still running errands for your father today? Yes, I am. After this, I will.
God is seeing you. The God that created you, created you for a reason. Even if every other person deserts you, I ne, will never desert you. One name why Kachi will never des desert you. One name. Just focus on God. He's all. He will give you the heart to bear whatever it is that is hurting you. Yes. You just need to focus on God. He's the ultimate. He's the beginning and it's the end. He can see what you're going through and he will bring you out of it. Today might be a dark day, yes. But what about tomorrow? Ah. The only constant thing in life is change. Focus on God and believe in Him. He will make everything right. He will give you the strength, the heart, to bear everything. Oh? Bia, 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 chineke, bia. Bia, 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 chineke, bia. Chineke, bia, oh, bia, oh, bia. Chineke, bia, oh, bia, oh, bia, bia, bia. Chineke, bia, oh, bia, oh, bia. Nekebe o I did not come with him. But, but not to worry. When next I am coming, I'll bring him to you. I will, nay, I will. My husband actually took oh, him to hey. I found that train. No, that's what I've been waiting to hear. Yesterday it was your husband. Today, your husband. Oh, yeah, Bukwa, your husband. Oh, Genedo. Is he the only one that waited for a long time before God blessed him with a bouncing baby boy? <laughs> Oh. You people just don't want me to see my grandson. Oh, uh, yes, ever since he became a big boy, not just a campfire. It's okay. <laughs> Every time I ask, you will tell me uh, your husband said he 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 traveled with him to Panya. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> also, he, we, uh, he wants to take him to his office. <laughs> uh, the next one, also, not cheap. We are uh, DOP or DPO. Mama is DPO. The Mama Mukabo. On our way, you are not cheap police. The next thing now, you people will be telling me is that you want he wants to travel with my grandson to the moon. How long man have I touched before? Question the moon puta. We can chuku si we debe debe fire brigade. Mama Ozugo, Ozugo, okay. Don't worry, I promise. I promise. Mama, look at me now. I promise. When next I am coming, I will bring him. Promise, so I promise. Huh? Across my heart. Oh, okay, she across. Oh, Mama, Mama mo, Mama mo. Iyo pa ko mi, iyo pa ko mi e ba na pa mi. Na wala na mi ang kung 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 kung. Hey. Oh, Miko, where is this? Where is this? She's at the back. Nam. Sioma. She just sits there. Staring into space. She doesn't even understand what's going on around her. Sioma, Sioma Fugo. I um no. Mm? It's okay. No? Let me go to the back and have a word with her. Because oh? maybe I'm sure if she sees you, she will be happy. Oh? No problem. Mm. 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 Madam.
Show me where she is. Let's go to the Kachi. I have come. I have come to take you with me to this city. And this time around, nobody, nobody is going to stop me. Not you. Not me. Nobody will. It is my duty to see my sister stand on her feet again. And I promise you that will surely happen. Stop crying. You know, many years ago, without a child it was a feeling that my world was crumbling but then he proved me wrong our makeup proved me wrong and blessed me with a child goes a long way to show that that there is nothing impossible for him to do. You will go with me to the city. I will not rest until I see my dear sister stand on her feet again. I know you would have done the same for me. Don't cry. This is a promise from me to you. This will surely come to pass. See how tired I am. On one condition. What condition is that? You back me and sing song for me. I should back you, or you should back me. No, you back me. Okay. Come on, stand here. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. So what song do you want me to sing? Mm, any song. <sighs> and you back me and walk slow, very slow and steady. Yes, sir. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> Let me think. Um, what of um, the animals went in two by two? Hurrah! Hurrah! The animals went in two by two. Hurrah! Hurrah! They walked. Walk and and play. I wish that we get this picking. Hey, no problem. I'll give one girl a leg. She will born for me. I will cry like this. Calm down. I said, come, 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 come. Uh, calm, calm. Now, I have said this before and I'm going to say it again. You would not steal my husband away from me. I wouldn't let it happen. So, I will take it from here. You, run along and leave my husband alone. Let me have a hug. <laughs> I didn't say come, anything. I said, no, no. Okay, at least let me have a hug from my husband. Mm. How was your day? My day was, as you can see, very fine. I can see. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Isi and I came in earlier. Isi. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. You know, thank you very much, Isi. Make yourself as comfortable as you want in this place. Mikasa Esukasa. Hmm? Huh? Thank you. Sir. My house is your house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I made sure of that already. I know. Is it not you? It's and me. your twin? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You see, this right here is my bundle of joy. His name is Udo. Udo Chuku. We actually named him that because he restored peace and harmony to my long lost marriage. He is the reason we are where we are today. <laughs> He's my live wire and I do. <clears throat> uh, live wire. How did I forget that? Mm, it's not you. <laughs> okay, fine. Our live wire. Um, my little pumpkin. This is Auntie E.C. She's like a sister from another mother to me. So say hi to her. You're welcome, Auntie E.C. Thank you. Anyway, I'll let you two catch up. Meanwhile, darling, I have something very important to show you upstairs. Come with me. Important. Very, very. I hope it's good. But you know I don't show you nothing that's normal. Um, Lucia, I know you very well. Ah, you. What do you know? <laughs> I'm not talking about Okay, Dad. So, so you want my mother to see? You don't really have a cat. Oh, 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 You're welcome. 
daughter Lucia came to take her friend Isoma to the city. She did, oh. They left earlier today. Eh? Omo if it be case, boy. I am so glad that she took her along with her. Yes, oh. sir. And uh, you never thought of coming to tell me. You know, I, I, I was actually going to come to your house to let you know. But they said you went to Olo to take care of your fish farming business. Over here. Okay, really. Yeah, it's true. Um, in fact, I just came in some few minutes back and I said to check on you. True friends are meant to be the backbones of each other. You see, especially at times like this. Let us hope her journey to the city will help her to recover and put back her pieces together. That, that is our prayers, one name. Uh, so that is why you're here. No, bro, he's healing me. I walk one case here, quite mana. I'm one on a kiss, I damn me, but I'm not mean. We see your book, but I'm not going to go to the city. I've not come to. If I was on my way to the Council of Elders meeting uh, before I decided to branch off and see you. Uh, uh, yeah, before I forget, your friend Mary is waiting for you. Yes, I am join us soon. Yeah, yeah, boy. What do you Eh, boy, boy. Go ahead. Eh, now is the of
the child I cherish more than any other thing in this world. My beloved joy. I love him so much, yet he disappeared into thin air. They took him away from me. They took my son utterly away from me. Auntie Isi, who took Odile away from you? And where did Odile disappear to? Talk to me and stop crying. I don't know. They took him away from me. It's okay, Auntie Isi. I'm sorry if I made you remember what you have forgotten. I want you to know that I will always be with you to fill up the gaps that you have left in your heart. Depending when he returns, it's a promise. Yes, Auntie Isi. Believe it in your heart that God will direct him back to you and it will come to pass. I too would like to see his face and know how handsome he looks. He might be handsome than me, I might be handsome than him. Probably, we might be the same. Who knows? There'll be smiles on your face. Then you know that our God is truly wonderful. Come here, Daisy. Come right here. Cry no more.
Dad, mm -hmm. why do you and Mom always refer to me as a life warrior? <sighs> yes, Dad. Am I a wire? No, because you are not the wire we know. Because you are the live wire that brings current into our lives. You see, a live wire is anything that brings current into anything around it. The electric appliances, um, an association, people in a family that brings love, anything that brings love, joy into any family. Yeah. You see, before you came, your mom and I were very sad because we had no child. In fact, we almost went our separate ways because of childlessness. But all that changed when you came into our lives. <laughs> you see, you brought so much joy, so much peace, and we're very happy now as you see. So you are the life wire in our family. Hmm. Sounds quite interesting, Dad. Mm -hmm. Life wire. Dad, what happens if the life wire is unplugged? No. Does it mean there's no more life? No, 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 don't say that. No, don't say that at all. See that wire there? Hmm? Yes, Dad. All these wires, every house in this vicinity, they feed them with electricity. They power the homes. They power the TV, the refrigerator, the AC, every other thing. Once the power is interrupted, the circuit breaker blows. And when it blows, it goes <laughs> Exactly. Exactly that. Yes. Copied. Copied. Now, a very tough question for you. Who is the live wire of Chief Richard Williams? I don't you who is the live wire of Chief Williams. Correct! My <laughs> boy! Come here! <laughs> now, now we're finished resting. Mm -hmm. I want you to come so we can beat you at Scrabble. I'm going to make you spell your whole name, your full name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is wonderful. I know. Matter of fact, mm. almost as good as mine. But you're a good student, I'll give you that. Excuse me. I said it. You cook nothing. <laughs> you know, the last time you were in my kitchen, you almost burnt my kitchen. <laughs> well, that's yeah. because you tried to make me make obono. I don't know how to make obono. Honey. Never told me you had to put oil. Richie, you don't know how to cook. I can't. You have never made anything except boiling water. So please. I was mm. once, I was once a bachelor, you know. How did I survive? You've forgotten the ma <laughs> <laughs> You've forgotten who brings you food, right? <laughs> <laughs> Take Joe. Come on. <laughs> 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 Coming from you, know? mm. with love, nice. mm? <laughs> baby, happy. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh huh. Mm. That's my boy. That's my sport brat. I love so much. <laughs> <laughs> and who are you going to feed now? Mm. Daddy. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Udo. Mm. So I gave you food from my plate, and you in turn gave your father, right? Mm -hmm. It's not fair. Oh, sorry, mom. Don't tell me sorry. Sorry. Uh huh. No, it's okay. Uh, and thank you. I'll still have it. You can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, right. my darling. Mm. Take this one. Which one tastes better? Okay. The one she gave you, or the one I gave you? Do remember I can't reach you food. I feed you. Every day I go to work, I come back. Listen, I bring lots of goodies for you. No, I sing you to bed. I, I pray you with you before you. No, go I read to your bed. poems. Stop it. I read the Bible stories and nursery rhymes. Junior. Remember? Udo. I want to we will go. No, 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 don't do that. No, no, no. Which one is better? Which? I think this one is good. I will ah, no, 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 that's not fair. <laughs> come on. I told you so. I told you. That's not nice. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> 
sorry. No, you're not. Okay, let me make you feel better. I'll take this one, my darling. What did I say? Go on. Go on. Say you know you can. Say please. Just please. Thank you. Take this thing. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> right. Open up. <laughs> <laughs> been crying although I see a smiling face so I guess you're good Tada! I got something for you mm. I got this and I got this and this I went shopping for you look at this this is so beautiful like you know I saw it and I just said this will fit my dear lovely sister how do you 
what is it? You don't like it. I have something else in the bag. There are other nice things that I... Thank you so much, Lucia. Thank you. What would I have done without you? What would have become of me if not for you? See how you've gradually resurrected a dying soul. Little by little, you brought me back to life. Thank you so much. In this world, and next, I will not thread you for anything. You are priceless, sister. Thank you so much. Easy, easy. You see, you don't need to say thank you. No, you don't. What are friends for? I know you would have done the same for me if you were in my shoes. <laughs> What's what in God's name are you even saying thank you for? Have you forgotten our good old days? Our memories. Beautiful ones. Listen, Isia. The goal is for you to pick up your broken pieces and move on as a happy woman. And believe me, I will not stop until I achieve that goal. Okay. I wish. I wish I could just wake and realize all this is a dream. I wish I could set my eyes on my child again someday. Um, you see, this is not why I'm seated here with you. I just want to see you happy. Let's not go back to that, okay? And remember, I got you something nice. Something really, really nice. So all I want you to do is to bring up this beautiful body of yours. Stand up and try on this outfit because nobody is crying here again. Come on, sis. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Us. You need to get your groove back up, girl. Stand up, girl. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. See? Don't worry. You don't need to stretch yourself. I'll do the work. Don't do this. I'll do the job. Okay? <laughs> and take a look at this. You know, this is going to fit so nice. I know. Don't you like? And I got you something. Oh, where is it that? See, I went to the best of shops to pick this for you. How do you like? A stick. Oh, you look so beautiful. Now you look like Miss Ward. No. My phone. Hey, Timo, <laughs> it's so beautiful. This must be Lucia's handwork. <laughs> hey, you see, you see why I keep telling you that pure friendship is so refreshing. <laughs> hey? Friends should be each other's backbone. Good friends look out for each other and support each other. Even in times of trial, they should be learned to be there for one another. Oh, 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 hope you both will be like this. Eh? Yes, oh, yes, oh, <laughs> Oyani sinachi, otobu no sidi Ezi boi na digite O sinachi, oyani sinachi Otobu no sidi Ezi boi na digite Matos 
Ocha Achikota Esio Ina Digide Epo Alicia Adajuo Esio Ina Digide Awata Fesia Awata Kwa Esio Ina Digide Abasiamba Anata Kwa Good morning Atisi I feel your presence all around me. I feel your heart beat just beside me. I call you. Good morning, Odile. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Just called me up the day Not to worry, Auntie, you see. I told you I'll always answer whether you call me Odile or Udo, as long as the name comes from you. It's okay by me. Auntie, you see, Mommy said you have somewhere else to go this morning. That's why you won't be coming with us. Tell me, Auntie, you see, are you going to join us later? Oh. Are you going to wait till daddy returns so both of you can come and join us? Are you okay, Auntie? Si? Talk to me, Auntie. Si. You're not saying anything. Okay. Okay, just be good. Hi, are you okay? Okay, so we'll see you when we get back. I left something for you in the kitchen. Come on, you might say a hug. <laughs> Alright, honey, take care of yourself. Now you run along, run, 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 run. Okay, honey, take care of yourself, huh?
Alexi, are you alright? Is everything okay with you? the way you feel but I need you to know that I did not bring you to the city or to my home to to bring back old memories I brought you here so we could create an avenue to heal those memories to heal those wounds and it's okay for you to see Udo my son as yours you can call him son as well okay I just want you to be happy. That is very important to me. Alright? So stop crying. It's okay. Say, come on, he's just sleeping. You can actually wait and have a talk with him in the morning when he's up. Okay? Hong Kong, my Hong Kong. Ho -ho. <laughs> I saw you playing football outside. Yeah. Obviously, you've not been reading your books, have you? Mm, I have been reading my oh, books. Oh, that's a lie. You hesitated, and I know you when you lie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, oh, you see. How are you? Mm, okay, so let's go inside. Isi. Isi, are you okay? Isi? We should go inside.
Did you go out with anyone? No. Oh, I meant, did you go out with someone close to you? What about your friend Mary? I have not seen you both lately together. Are you quarreling with her? No, not at all, Mama. We were together not quite long. Mama, why the question? Why do you ask? What is the meaning of all this? Unity. Harmony. Togetherness. Peaceful coexistence. Oneness, it symbolizes a bunch of broomsticks strongly tied together. And then it scatters. Oh. Who? Who wants to? Disorganize my household. Who wants to break up my household? Must be mother to the same child. I say it again to the same child. It is logically and medically impossible. How? Oh, Jesus, I. Okay, you know what? Come, sit down. I understand what you are going through. Sincerely, I do. But you see, you can't allow that get into your head. I mean, why would you want to bring back old memories, ugly memories for that matter? Inviting old wounds that are supposed to be forgotten. Why, you see? Why? My heart. My heart beats faster. It beats faster each passing day I set my eyes on him. The same feeling I had, the same feeling I had the very first time I set my eyes on him, Lucia. Lucia, please. I need you to talk to me. I need your heart to speak to mine. Tell me, which hospital did you give birth to me? You see, hello, Mrs. Dixon. Yes, I'm good. And you? Yes, I'm in the office. Is everything all right? Yes, I will be leaving soon. So in all 30 minutes?
The area the incident took place was one of the most dangerous zones ever. That people hardly take that route, especially at night. So, I needed no soothsayer to tell me who those guys were. That period, kidnapping was on increase. They do travel from state to state to kidnap babies and sell them off to their clients. So I quickly made a report to the police why the baby remained in my custody, hoping to hear or see anyone come identify the baby, but it proves otherwise because those that came could not identify the baby. Of a truth, 
when I remember the drama and the circumstances surrounding the baby the day I found him. And that particular write-up on his shirt that says, Jesus, baby, the Lord is with me. So all the time, with tears in my eyes when I remember, indeed, the Lord is with you, my cute baby. It's cute, right? Isn't he? Mrs. Anthony? Mrs. Anthony Dixon? Yes. Is there any problem? Are there some unusual threat the baby is exhibiting you cannot handle? You can confide in me. Mrs. Dixon? Mrs. Dixon? Are, are you alright? How small you are. Give me that car. I do not want to lose my only son. Okay, fine. You'll get in the car with me. We'll drive forwards and drive back. 
and then you get in the passenger seat and I take you out for ice cream. How about that? No, I want to drive out for ice drive? cream. Uh, give me that. Give, give me. Give me back my child. I need my child back. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, really? First, he was a child you carried in your womb and gave birth to six years ago. And all of a sudden, the story changes. This same child, this child you carried in your womb and gave birth to six years ago happens to be an adopted child. A child you and your husband adopted from the orphanage home six years ago. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what next the story is going to be? And who 
on earth knows how my son ended up at the orphanage home? Lucia, I need my child back. Can I tell you again, I don't have your child. Do you have my child? I don't have your you son. You have my child. I have made this clear. I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. I don't have your child. Lucia, I am putting it to you that you have my child. Odo is my son. Odile is my child. Do not come into my home and try to torment me. I did not bring you here to start trying to take my child. So you better get your little self out of this house before I do something drastic. Then Udo is my son. Odile is my son. Udo is my son. Odile is my son. I don't have your child. Give me back my child. I don't have your you child. You have my child. I don't. You have my child. You Okay, I can't see very far, so you have to look out for him. When he raises his hand, you let me know. Okay. So you can see I'm not wearing my glasses, so... Daddy? Yes? I had a dream last night. Really? What was it about? There were some people who tried to take me away. I think those people were kidnappers. <gasps> <gasps> Daddy! Daddy! Dad! 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 Why would you say something like that? I am sorry, Dad. But... Dad! Dad, are you okay? Dad! Dad! Are you okay? Dad? My husband has traveled. He has traveled for business as usual. He no longer stays month, no years before returning. He hurries with whatever he has to do and comes back home. That is because he finally found extraordinary joy in his home. Peace and joy finally located our marriage. My husband no longer feels like, like he is dying. And the secret is not far-fetched. Udo. Udo, our son, brought and joy that forms the, the magical force in our marriage. This is not a secret. But I'll let you in on a very deep secret. My dear friend, turned sister. A secret no one knows. Not even my dear husband. A secret that was gradually killing me before the emergence of Udo. The medical result of the test I had in the past showed that I couldn't I couldn't get pregnant for my husband. I'm in fetter. That was what the report said. even bring myself to tell my husband about it. I was able to convince him that we adopt a baby until God blesses us with ours. Hence, Udo came into the picture. That I subsequently made you believe. But my dear sister, 
there is more to this. There is more to this. I lied. My husband didn't know who was adopted. To him, I was... I was a few weeks pregnant before he traveled. I broke the news to him because I knew he was going to stay longer. I told him I was pregnant when he left because I knew he was going to stay longer. He is my lord. I didn't want to lose him. I had everything all planned out. And it worked out well for me. And then... He came. It was like, it was like magic. He filled the loopholes and, and restored my marriage. He brought back peace and joy to my home. Everything was... Remember all the promises we made while we were still young? We promised never to let anything or anyone come in between us, not human or even spirit. You see, this is the time to prove our long age friendship. This is the time to reciprocate the love and everything I have done for you. You see, it is in your hands to keep this fire in my home burning. It is in your hands to save my marriage. It is also in your hands to destroy my home. Please, I beg you, just let me have him. you to keep everything I have said to you away from anybody. Just pretend like you never had a baby. Pretend like you never had any child. You see, look at you. Look at you. You're beautiful. You're young. You can fall in love. You have a womb. Amy, if you can have more babies, I can't have a child. <laughs> Please just let me have this, just this one. This one. I beg you to do this for me and save my home. Save my marriage, please, Easy. I beg you. Whenever you see Udo, just like you have never ever met him in your life. 
pretend you don't know him. I beg you to do this for me, please. When he came, he came with that one love joy and smiles on his face that made him unique and exceptional. I felt whole and exceptionally happy. Whenever thoughts of him crosses my mind that I wished he stays forever. But then, my joy was cut short. My baby disappeared into thin air. My baby disappeared and took my soul with him. Died, Lucia. But as our maker would have it, he found his way back to me. And then I resurrected. resurrected as soon as I set my eyes on him. All the bones that had died in me all along came alive again. How far and wide I had traveled in my imaginations wishing and hoping that someday that I'll, I'll set my eyes on him again for him to share my resurrection to life. Little did I know that. Little did I know that which I seek in a distance was right here before me. My son brought me back to life. He brought me back to life. And Lucia, you look me in the eyes You look me in the eyes and tell me to forget I ever had a baby. You look me in the eyes and tell me to forget my baby. The baby I carried in my womb. The baby I carried nine months and gave birth to. The baby I had not shot. That I should pretend he doesn't exist. No, Lucia. Never. This is not going to happen. Because I need my child back. I must have my child back. I shall have my child back. And I'll do anything to have my baby back. Even if it means with my last blood, I'll do it. I need my child back, Lucia. I don't have 
a life without him. But I, I need him back. I don't have a home without him. And I, I can't do without him. passes by it, is, it comes very, very clear that the future of my unborn children does not lie in you. So maybe it's best we go our separate ways. Richie. I am not in the habit of sleeping with other women. If not, I'd have gone outside to show how potent I am. But I know I have a child with an African American woman I dated while I was in the States before we were married, which you yourself know. I am going to look for her. I am going to look for my child. And when I find them, I will worship the ground they walk on. I will marry her and make my wife, if need be. If you have any other child anywhere else, go and look for them. My world will not come crashing down. <laughs> Accusation. Accusation. 
using this form of conniving with some strangers to kidnap your child. Are you insane? Of course I have lost my sanity. I have lost it all. But at least I'm better than one whose soul has been sold to the devil. Have you ever carried a child in this your useless woman all your life? I beg your pardon? Could you be so heartless and insensitive to, a, to the feelings of a mother? And you sit down there and you call yourself a matron of this orphanage home? I came here the other day telling you how my loving child, my bundle of joy has been missing for years. And the same child was adopted by my best friend, Lucia. Instead of you to pay attention to me, what did you do? You told me you didn't know who Lucia is. But I saw her the day she walked into this orphanage home. And I saw you both leave. So what are you saying? I need my child. I need my child. But I, I, I don't know who this young Lucia is. Will you shut up, you liar? You are a liar. You are a liar. I need my child. Wait. You want me to shut my mouth in my office? You heard me. Shut up! You are a liar! And you called me a liar? That is exactly what you are. A bloody liar. I need my child! Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Now, it's so clear that you both connived and kidnapped my son. But let me tell you something. If you and Lucia do not return my child the same way you kidnapped him, I'll bring down this building and I mean it. I mean it. Nobody's going to stop me. Nobody's going to stop me. Nobody. I need my child. Nobody will stop me. Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Where do I send you? What do I do with you? Send you to the hospital? Or make you live the rest of your life in prison? Because you are definitely insane. You have not answered me. Where are you taking me to? Sweetheart, don't worry. I will explain to you later. You're, you're safe with me, okay? Oh, uh, Madam Soma, I think uh, there are safer ways we can handle this kind of issue. I mean, why not? Uh, look, Lucas, you were the one that said to her how good my late husband was to you. And you promised to help me out of this. Are you going to give up on, on me at this point? Of course not, madam. I'm not giving up on you. You see, your husband was a very nice man. And I can't forget in a hurry how he helped I and my family and supported us and they allowed us to die of hunger. Even when I knew he never had enough and was managing it was at that time. And it's so unfortunate that now I never get to pay him back for all the good things he has done for me and my family now that I'm making small, small, small money for my transportation business. But I'm doing this knowing well that he will be happy wherever he is. But I still suggest... Uh, Lucas, Lucas, please. Please, just drive. We'll, we'll talk about it later, please. Oh, so, where to now? Anyway, anyway, just drive.
Your mother. I am your biological mother. Your real name is Otelly, named after your late father, Otelly, my husband, not Sudo. See, I know how difficult. It is for you to believe this. But you have to believe me, son. I am your mother. Touch me. Touch me. Feel me. Feel me. I want to feel it. The warmth of your mother. I want to feel in the connection. I carried you nine months in my womb. I nurtured you as a baby before that ugly incident took place. It's okay, my child. I know this might be sounding weird to you, but you have to believe me. I am your mother. Now, does it mean I have two mothers or what? Mom said you are evil, that I should avoid you. Tell me, Auntie Isi, are you truly evil? Why are you both quarreling? I thought friends are not meant to quarrel. Good day, Mr. Richie. Good day, Nelly. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Good to know. Um, is your wife in? Not really. Actually, uh, I came in here and she wasn't around. I've been calling her phone since and she's not picking. I was actually thinking of calling you. What about Lucia? Um, I spoke with her on the phone. 
the way she sounded, she sounded really worried. She said there was a very big problem and she hung up. I tried calling her severally, but she won't pick my call. When was this? Like two or three hours ago. But what of Udo? I haven't seen my son either. Have your son, Lucia. Where is Udo, my son? I do not know whom you speak of. I have someone in my custody, and that is my child, Odile. But if he's the one you refer as Udo, your child, <laughs> you better have a rethink because the child has found his biological mother, and his mother has found her lost child. And I am not going to let him go this time. Not again. Not even with my last breath. You speak of breath. You speak of breath, Isi. You were almost going to lose that breath. I saved you. I gave you life. Because I thought we were sisters. But I see you do not appreciate that. I will take that breath from you. <laughs> <laughs> My regards to me. She will hear. Hmm? Just go home. Go. Go home street. Ah, uh -uh, why not? I am watching. Bye bye. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. I am okay. 
But what was the last time you heard from Lucia this year? It's been a while I heard from them. The last time I called, none of them took their calls. Martin, why do you ask? Hmm? Everything is fine. I've not spoken to them yet. Oh, oh, go inside and uh, wash the go inside and put it on by. Then you, you come and help me by wet it. I must speak with them. It, it's unusual for, for them not to. Nelly just left here telling me that she called you on the phone and sounded very troubled about something. Is everything alright? And where's her son? Is everything alright? <laughs> Lucia. Where is you do? Mama, be mama, be mama. Mama, mama, mama. Mama. Okay. I'm carrying you to You know, it, it, it was just this morning I asked Kachi if she had heard from you. Or some mama. Then I gave her money to go and buy credit so I could call you. Boggy day, boggy day, boggy day. No connection. Eh? Who is the boy? I found my son. I found my missing son. Holy 
sabi ni gwa kenne me kenne kwasege. Stacy, I thank you for this great news. Nam. Bia bia bia. Why can't you oba? If I've been seeing you, Namo, you're welcome. This is good news. Only Sabi knew but neck and for this great news. It's a bit of bad news and good news. How? Oh. It happens to be that my missing child, Odili, mm -hmm. is the same child. Lucia had taken in as her own. So Lucia had my missing baby all these years. Lucia, you look me in the eye and tell me that kidnappers took my son. Wait, let me understand you clearly. Our own precious son, our only son, was taken right before your very eyes by strangers. And you stood there doing absolutely nothing when they took my son away. Lucia, is that what you want to tell me? I want you to tell me I have no clue about how many were there. Were there three or four? What description? Were they dark? Were they masked? What, what, what clue can you give me about them? I tried. You tried what? No, tell me what is it you tried. My life wire you took from me. <laughs> Lucia, you will find my son. You will find my son. I said, you will find my son. You will find my son. You will find my son, Lucia. Otherwise, three of us are going to die in this place. And I'll not regret it. Find my son. You must find that boy. You must find that boy. Lucia threatened to fight me with all she has if I ever tried to make a case with her. She promised she would use her wealth and influence to win the case any time, any day. Mama, I was scared. I was scared. I had no other option than to end up with my child. But how could Lucia be so insensitive to the feelings of a mother? How? You see, a man who can't even know a law not know The devil will not be given any back seat. A man with law no know I will call her directly and invite her so we can discuss the issue. No, 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 no you're, you're not going to do that. Lucia must not know that we're in this village. If she knows, she will come here and take this boy away from me. <sighs> Mama, I don't want my son an inch away from me. Not anymore. Because the Anuna Bolaya, don't, don't call her, please. That is not the way to handle this matter. She needs to come here so we can discuss everything. I need to discuss with her one on one. On any man, you never could never hear. Never read if any man pull on you. Mama, you are thorough. You are thorough. If Lucia has the slightest idea that this boy is here, she will come here and and take this child. But it is obvious that this boy is your son. Never see any, never see any can do your back. Well, Lucia does not understand it that way. Please, please, Mama. Now you see, guy, you're big. Mama, 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 come here, don't, don't call her. Hey! She shouldn't even know that we are here, please. 
Ben, nothing must happen to my son. Nothing must happen to my son. You know everything. He is all I have. You know how that boy came about. Please, send your men to do everything they can to bring my son back to me. Let them find that boy and bring him to me unharmed. <sighs> it's okay, Mr. Richie. Auntie, you you have not answered me. Where are you taking me to? Sweetheart, don't worry. I will explain to you later. You're safe with me, okay? Uh, Madam Soma, I think uh, there are safer ways we can handle this kind of issue. I mean, why not? Uh, look, Lucas, you were the one that I said to her how good my late husband was to you. And you promised to help me out of this. Are you going to give up on, on me at this point? Of course not, Madam. I'm not giving up on you. You see, your husband was a very nice man. I can't forget in a hurry how he helped I and my family and supported us and they allowed us to die of hunger even when I knew he never had enough and was managing it was at that time and it's so unfortunate that now I never get to pay him back for all the good things he has done for me and my family now that I'm making small small money for my transportation business but I'm doing this knowing well that he will be happy wherever he is, but I still suggest... Uh, Lucas, Lucas, please. Please, just drive. We'll, we'll talk about it later, please. So, where to now? Anyway, anyway, just drive. I am your mother. I am your biological mother. Your real name is Otteli. Named after your late father. Otteli, my husband. Not so do. See, I know how difficult it is for you to believe this. But you have to believe me, sir. I am your mother. Touch me. Touch me. Feel me. Feel me. Aren't you feeling the warmth of your mother? Aren't you feeling the connection? I carried you nine months in my womb. I nurtured you as a baby before that ugly incident took place. It's okay, my 
child. I know this might be sounding weird to you, but you have to believe me. I am your mother. Now, does it mean I have two mothers or what? Mom said you are evil, that I should avoid you. Tell me, Auntie Isi, are you truly evil? Why are you both quarreling? I thought friends are not meant to quarrel. Good day, Mr. Richie. Good day, Nelly. How are you? I'm very well, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay. Good to know. Um, is your wife in? Not really. Actually, uh, I came in here and she wasn't around. I've been calling her phone since and she's not picking. I was actually thinking of calling you. What about Lucia? Um, I spoke with her on the phone. The way she sounded, she sounded really worried. She said there was a very big problem and she hung up. I tried calling her severally, but she won't pick my call. When was this? Like two or three hours ago. But what of Udo? I haven't seen my son either. Have your son, Lucia. Where is Udo, my son? I do not know whom you speak of. I have someone in my custody, and that is my child, Odile. But if he's the one you refer as Udo, your child, <laughs> you better have a rethink because the child has found his biological mother, and his mother has found her lost child. And I am not going to let him go this time. Not again. Not even with my last breath. You speak of breath. You speak of breath, Isi. You were almost going to lose that breath. I saved you. I gave you life. Because I thought we were sisters. But I see you do not appreciate that. I will. 
take that breath from you. <laughs> <laughs> My regards to me. She will hmm? yeah, just go home. Go. Go home street. Ah, uh -uh, why not? I am <laughs> watching. Bye bye. <laughs> Last time I called, none of them took their calls. But why do you ask? Hmm? Everything, everything is fine. I have not spoken to them yet. Go, go, go inside and watch the go inside and put it on by. Then you, you, you come and drop me by. I must speak to them. It, it's unusual for, for them not to. Nelly just left here telling me that she called you on the phone and sounded very troubled about something. Is everything alright? And where's her son? Is everything alright? Hmm? 
Lucia. What is you do? Mama, 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 mama. Okay, I'm carrying you to it. You know, it, it, it was just this morning I asked Kachi if she had heard from you. Or some mama. Then I gave her money to go and buy credit so I could call you. Boggy day, boggy day, boggy day. No connection. Eh? Who is the boy? I found my son. I found my missing son. I thank you for this great news. Hey! How can I get to your If I've been seeing you. Namo, you're welcome. This is good news. Only seven you but neck and for this great news. It's a bit of bad news and good news. Oh. It happens to be that my missing child, Odili, mm -hmm. is the same child Lucia had taken in as her own. Lucia had my missing baby all these years. Lucia, you look me in the eye and tell me that kidnappers took my son. Wait. Let me understand you clearly. Our own precious son, our only son, was taken right before your very eyes by strangers. And you stood there doing absolutely nothing when they took my son away. Lucia, is that what you want to tell me? I want you to tell me I have no clue about how many were there. Were there three or four? 
What description? Were they dark? Were they masked? What, what, what clue can you give me about them? I tried. You tried what? No, tell me what is it you tried. My life wire you took from me. <laughs> Lucia, you will find my son. You will find my son. I said, you will find my son. You will find my son. You will find my son, Lucia. Otherwise, three of us are going to die in this place. And I'll not regret it. Find my son. You must find that boy. You must find that boy. Lucia threatened to fight me with all she has. If I ever try to make a case with her. She promised she will use her wealth and influence to win the case any time, any day. Mama, I was scared. I was scared. I had no other option than to elope with my child. But how could Lucia be so insensitive to the feelings of a mother? How? Ne? Eh? You see, the devil will not be given any back seat. I will call her directly and invite her so we can discuss the issue. No, 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 no you're not going to do that. Lucia must not know that we're in this village. If she knows, she will come here and take this boy away from me. I don't want my son an inch away from me. Not anymore. Because they are not not well, don't, don't call her, please. That is not the way to handle this matter. She needs to come here so we can discuss everything. I need to discuss with her one-on-one. -on -one. Mama, Iwathara, Iwathara, if Lucia has the slightest idea that this boy is here, she will come here and, and take this child. But it is obvious that this boy is your son. Well, Lucia does not understand it that way. Please, please Mama. Now, you're the guy. Don't, don't call her. Hey! She shouldn't even know that we are here, please. Hey, don't give her mother's cigarette for me also. Ben. Nothing must happen to my son. Nothing must happen to my son. You know everything. He is all I have. You know how that boy came about. Please, send your men to do everything they can to bring my son back to me. Let them find that boy and bring him to me unharmed. <sighs> it's okay, Mr. Richie. I understand your plight. We must do everything within our powers to make sure we have a positive result. Your gate man, you said he traveled. Yes. He went home to be with his family. And your wife? She's home. She's absolutely devastated. In that case, we might need to have one or two words with her since she was home when the incident took place. Maybe we could get some vital clue from her. Whatever it takes, oh please. I want my son back to me, please. Uh, it's all right, be rest assured. We will do our best. Mark, so 
What have you and your team been able to come up with as regards the kidnap of Mr. Arish's son? And nothing yet, sir. Nothing tangible at the moment. But I believe very soon we'll be able to come up with something strong. How soon are you talking about? Pretty soon, sir. It's just that we are facing challenges of inability to get a strong clue that will help us nail whoever this person or persons are. Mr. Richie would have been in a better position to help us decline of any known enemy in the past that he thinks might be behind the act. His wife, on the other hand, who would have been in a better position to give us a strong clue, is yet to provide us with inf concrete information. She still maintains everything happened in a swift. And sir, how be it, uh, we'll be able to come up with something strong pretty soon. Listen to me, Mark. I don't know who and who declined. All I want is for you and your team to beef up more security and find the hideout of the kidnap. I will do just that, sir. going on, Lucia? Why have you decided to keep everybody in the dark? Even if you want to hide this from everybody, definitely not your husband. He deserves to know. You know who made away with your child. Why haven't you told him? He will not understand, Nelly. Things are just... complicated the adoption you and your husband legally adopted a child from the orphanage home at a tender age six years ago you've since taken in this child nurtured him showered him with love and treated him like your own biological child Six years later, you discovered it's your best friend's missing child you adopted. And now she will do anything to have this child back. That she had to kidnap this said child in your presence. Now your husband and the police are out there, walking their asses off, searching the nook and cranny of this city just to find a clue to know who this kidnapper is. Meanwhile, the truth lies in your lips. What is going on, Lucia? Do you think keeping this a secret is good for your home? Would you rather prefer it's made known to him by someone else? What is the big deal there? Why can't you tell your husband who this kidnapper is? Is there more to this story that I need to know? Nelly, everything I did, I did to save my home. I did everything because because I love my husband. Isi should be in my shoes and know that she is in a position to save my marriage. Why wouldn't she just do that and, and save everybody the damage? Why? You're confusing me, Lucia. said you won't understand. It's complicated. 
But I just want you to know this. The day my husband finds out the reason behind my son's kidnapping. That day will be the end of my marriage. to reason. Let us find a mature and good way to handle the situation. Oju, if you can if you are right, if you are right, if you are right, if you wrong. I also, I have reached out to uh, Lucia. The way she sounded on the phone shows that she is ready for war. Nani, I can see the clouds. I can see the thunderstorm looming. We need to do something to avert the danger. 
ask and come walk it in eating on a name foul. Macanefa tip way. Oh, God, it's very bad. This is serious. You see, those two have been best of friends from childhood. We all watch them grow up more like sisters in this village. You see, the bond of love between them was an envy of all. Everybody was home. Why? What's happening? Yeah. Now the devil is playing the first one of them. But they can still say no to the devil. I mean, it's within their power. to pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. Or you're just so insensitive to my feelings. I am talking about my missing son, Odile, whom your wife here adopted from the orphanage home years ago and named him Udo. Go on. so insensitive to the feelings of a mother. Why have you decided to torment my soul this way? Why? Yes, I know how you feel. I understand you have taken my son in and showered him love as your own child. I also understand that he has become a pillar of peace in your home. But then, you, you can't deny me the right to my child. My son is right there in the village, but he doesn't recognize me as his mother. Lucia, please. Come and tell my son the truth. Tell him I am his biological mother. Tell him you adopted him from the orphanage at a tender age. 
please. Wait, hold, hold on. What exactly is going on here? Will you stop this drama and tell me what is going on here? Are you indirectly... Do you have my son? Is he... Are you the one who kidnapped my son? My son, he is. Yes. I made away with him the moment your wife made me understand I can't have my child back. The moment she threatened me that she will win the case anywhere or if I try to, to prove to the court or anyone else that my son, who has been missing for six years, is the one she adopted and called her own child. Udo? Adopted? How? to me was to utilize the opportunity while you were in the States. I knew you were going to stay longer. So. So. So I adopted a child. And made you believe I was pregnant before you traveled. I planned everything. Everything. My tummy. The video calls you made. Everything was fake. Loving another man's child as my son. Hmm. I have been loving, caring, experienced the joy from the one that is not even mine. Lucia. Why did you have to kill me this way? Richie. Uh, Richie. 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 Oh, Richie. Richie. Yes. 
see him, please. I, I, I just need to explain some things to him, please. I'm sorry we lost him. Try the best I could to no avail. I'm sorry, excuse me.
Mrs. Anthony Dixon did the same person that a young lady referred to us. Lucy? From all indications, she could be. The description she gave the very first day she came here fits into it all. Moreover, Mrs. Antonia was the only visitor you had that same day she said she saw you both. From her record, the adoption process took place six years ago. Same year, the young lady claimed her baby got missing. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, it's the same baby, but I, I still feel this. there is a strong connection here. Well then, I must have gone extra miles the way I handled her case in mm -hmm. the sister. What are we missing? Yes. How poisonous could it be? What I tell you here and now, sis, fear is a poison. We have the right to choose not to take. I think it's high time you stood up to your fear, sis. Yes! Delay could be dangerous. It's high time you took legal actions on this matter. Who knows? Victory awaits you at the end of the tunnel. I should take legal actions and gain victory in this, our society. The society you and I live. <sighs> the society where truth becomes lies and is swept under the carpet. And the truth automatically becomes lies in broad daylight. <sighs> I should take a high societal class woman 
so caught and and then what happens they will probably demand for a maternity dna test and that would confirm i am the biological mother of the child but then lucia would bribe her way with her wealth and influence she would even present a certificate confirming that she adopted the child right from when he was at tender age. Next, they begin their politics in the law court, all in the name of child right. That the welfare and comfort of the child matters most in this case. <laughs> and they will ask my child, my baby, that I carried in my womb who he is more comfortable with. He will point at Lucia as the mother he knows. And Lucia will take custody of my child. And I, 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 so be it. So be it then, Isi. For goodness sake, who has been feeding you with all this fallacy? And who even told you that the adopted parents stand a better chance in claiming the child in the law court more than the biological parents? I don't know. I do not know who has been feeding you with all this negative vibes. Fine. If she is taking custody of the child, let her do. But let it be on record that you have taken legal actions at all in claiming that child. It is far better than sneaking around with a child that you hold your own. Have you got an idea? The pain, the trauma, the dangers that she was subjecting that little boy into. Do you know? Near the catch. Whose side are you on? My side or Lucia's? It is not a matter of taking sides. It is a matter of facing reality. It is a matter of standing up to your fears, battle with it, and conquer it. See, I think that you are allowing your emotions blackmail your intelligence. You know, sometimes one might be right in certain issues. But your approach towards that issue might make you wrong. Have you got an idea that Lucia could sue you for kidnap? So if you truly, truly love this child of yours, his happiness should be your number one priority. What makes him happy should make you happy as well. Since you do not need a soothsayer to tell you that this boy isn't happy here. He is not comfortable. He doesn't even recognize you as his mother yet. So the earlier you do the needful, take legal actions and damn the consequences, the better for you whether it plays out in your favor or not. This thing called blood is mystic. It works far, far beyond our human comprehension. If it does not work for you today, it might work for you tomorrow. Sis, delay no more. I, 
I see danger. I see disaster looming around. And it will be a crime against your soul if you embrace it tomorrow when you have the opportunity to avert it today. Thank you so much, Kachi, for that piece of advice. I need to let you know, I am not letting go of my child anymore. I would rather face the danger than allow that bitter soul, Lucia, take custody of my child. Never! school area. I saw her with something like a gun. Jeez, there's no doubt that she's coming to this house. Friend turned sister. Stay. 
sister turned enemy. Busy I was playing the role of his sister and a friend. But she was busy hacking plants, evil plants. Evil plants on the ground to destroy me. But I will destroy you first. Before then, Isioma, I need my child right now. On the count of three. Hey! Don't shoot Abana. Eh? Lucy, I'm one. No, no, Abana. Don't shoot, please, because one. Pick up. Abana, Abana, Abana. Pick up. Pick up, Abana, Abana. No, pick up. It's all right now. We are sisters. Shut sister. up! I'm not your sister. Why are we never sisters? I, I am not your sister. So shut up! Please, please. I thought you were. You're not. Please, please. My sister. This matter is already getting out of hand. And if it is not settled at once, the consequences are bound to be unpalatable to us. We may not know what to do. You see, if you can no nani. When I what I did in Oji, I'm fair. What an elder sees while seated. Even if a child climbs the mountain top, he cannot see it. Let us be careful over this matter. Let us settle it now before the worst happens. Thank you. 
our daughters. Lucy, Shema, Biko. We understand the pains and traumas both of you have been going through since the inception of this case. Mana Asi, if we want me, I will not be Mana, we do not do. I will later ara. Or you know, in a bin we do. I will go later ara. So what we are saying is that both of you, all of you have your rights, and all of you are claiming your rights. The truth of this matter is that the issue at hand is a very delicate one. Ishoma is telling us that she is the biological mother of the boy. While Lucia is saying she adopted the boy at a very tender age, they all have their rights. And what we are looking for is a way to make peace between both of them. Where they come from here or there. Well spoken. Well spoken. Um, in as much as we elders mightn't know much, we believe that there are legal and medical ways of handling this kind of issue, which should have been the first step. But now that this matter has come to our doorstep this way, we cannot sit down and fold our hands and watch a female goat delivering tetas. What we are asking for is peace and the way forward. We want peace here and now because of trouble that might happen out of this. I have agreed to make peace. <laughs> I legally adopted Udo at a very tender age from the orphanage home. Automatically, that makes me his mother. And I am responsible for him as well. His security is my priority. Let Isioma here take me to court. Let her prove to the court that she is the biological mother of my son. And I'll let her have Never. him. Never for one second will I allow my child out of my reach anymore. What have you turned into, Lucia? What has become of you? You know the truth. You know the truth, Lucia. Why is it so difficult for you to accept it? Why? Why do I have to go to the law court to claim a child I carried nine months in my womb from Lucia of all people? A woman who threatened me not to take this case to court because she will eventually win. <laughs> she made me understand that she legally adopted my son and that the court will only be interested in the welfare and comfort of the child. She's only looking for an opportunity to bribe her way and take custody of my child. But that will never happen. It will never happen. I guess you knew you have lost a long time ago because I am not ready to take chances. I will not let you set your eyes on my child again. Not while I'm still alive. Lucia, you're nothing but a monster. Bravo. I see you have an unrepentant heart. I see you want to fight me. You see that boy? I would have him. With my child? I would have my son. son. Never. I would make sure we I do. Go, no. It will never happen. Stop it! Stop it! Let me just stop it! Stop it!
am sorry, son. I am sorry for all the stress I have made you go through. I might be wrong. Yes, I might be wrong. But everything I did, I did for the love I have for you. I did for the untying love I have for you. Udo, we grow so fond of each other. Right now, I find it difficult to let you go. We bonded like mother and child should. You stole every part of me. My body. My soul. My spirit. <laughs> Everything that I find it difficult to let you out of my sight. I just... I just wish I could gather the strength Someday, I just wish, I just wish, I just wish. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Altisi? Why have you decided to take me away from my mother? You don't look like a bad person. Why then did you lock me here? Please, Auntie AC. I want to go out and play with my mother. I want you to take me to my mother, please. Please, Auntie AC. I did this for your safety all the way. I took you so you could be far away from someone who wanted to harm you. But not to worry, my son. Tomorrow morning, we are leaving the village for good. To a place where you can play freely, okay? Help me, help me please, help me, I beg of you. My sister, if you ask for my opinion, I will say 
any of them that claims that she truly loves this boy should let go for now. It should give him breathing space because his sense of belonging is being tormented. Or better still, they should do the needful. Take the case to court and wait for the outcome. That, that, that's the only thing I can suggest right now. Exactly my point, my dear friend. You know, I just wish that this thing doesn't turn out to be worse later. And, and they end up regretting it. You know, the way this whole thing is, is developing right now, it makes me scared. Mary, I am scared. I know. I know. It's okay. <clears throat> so, where's the boy now? <clears throat> Who knows? I do not know. Nobody knows. It's okay. <sighs> Be strong, okay? <sighs> The only child of my parents. Our house is not far from there. Yesterday, I was going on an errand for my mother. When I heard you sobbing, I felt the tears in your voice. That made me come to you. I came back at night, and what I saw made me know that you were in trouble. Tell me, stranger, are you in trouble? Are you? Thank you so much for bringing me out here. That shows you're a good friend. My mom and my dad were the only closest friend I had. Then Nati Isi took me away from them, locking me there. Now I feel all alone. No more friends. No one to talk to, no one to play with. I want you to be my friend. Will you? Of course I will, if you want me to. Cross your heart. to let's go. Hi! Oh, Lucia. 
Lucy and Mwam, that is why I always talk about you. May Almighty God bless you. May He give you your own. May he... Where is my son? Where is my son? Where have you hidden my son, Odile? What is she talking about? Don't even ask me what I'm talking about. Where have you hidden my son? Where have you taken him to? Isi, Isi, please. I am warning you. I don't understand this, this charade, this game you are trying to put on. Listen, the last time I checked, you had my son Udo. So in heaven's name, I am begging you, you will get my son back to me and not ask me where my boy is. Don't make me lose it because we are going to die here now. What, what is going on here? <laughs> Mama, I went to the room where I kept my son orderly and he was nowhere to be found. What? I have searched all over for him and he, I could not find him. Lucia has planned to elope with my child. What is a lie? You fail because it's it today. You give me my son. Let me have my child before I give you a dirty slap that will be slapped your brain. I need my son now. You
Are you okay? sign of him yet. What kind of thing is this? Where would he have gone to? Give him one more nature. Get the one who don't want to be in Kabiko. Kachi, what are you people doing here? We've been searching for Odile. We've been searching for him everywhere. Yeah? We've been searching for my star son. I thought I saw him Headed towards the stream this morning. Yes! Wait a minute. Ossie, wait, Ossie, are, are, you, are you talking about my son? I saw him. You, you saw him? Where, where did you see him? I see stream. Which, which stream? Give him one more on Give me Which stream? Wait. I beg you. Just take me to where you saw him. Stream. Exactly. The, the path where you saw him. Mary, okay. talk now. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? Why are you running? Who is suggesting you? Talk to me. Where is the boy that I saw you with this morning? We were playing at the riverside. Then he jumped into the water. We didn't see him again. We, we, sit, we sat down and we were waiting for him, but we didn't see him again. I decided to run out and look for someone. What is she talking about? They were together this morning. I saw the two of them together. Yes! My son! Listen to me. You were with a little boy today. I need you to take me to the exact place you were. Before he jumped into the water, please run. Who 
It was this morning when I went to the stream of uh, Umuzu, two villages away from this community. Okay. I saw his body lying down in the stream. Lying on, on the ground? Yes. At the stream there? Yes. Hey. So I was very confused. I don't know what to do. So it, I, I was confused because since I became a fisherman, I have never experienced this kind of thing. So. It was my friend here, who is also a fisherman, ah. that told me everything. He described me about the boy. Okay. So that is why we brought him. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Hey. <laughs> oh, Lucia. But no, no, you people have killed him. <laughs> Where is your God? Can you do to keep us here, you people should kill each other now. Kill the boy. The shaman Nadia, Lucia Nadia, I'm going to go. 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 I'm going to go.
please, we come in search of one Mrs. Rachel Isiobokonko. We were actually directed to this place. Are we at the right place? Um, sorry, pardon our manners. I'm Phil, a human rights lawyer and also a matron at orphanage back in Lagos. This is Fido, my colleague, and this is Nadia, a nurse in the orphanage too. We, we have come with a good news that we believe will help ease the stress she's going through. Thank you. I heard. Yes, I did. I misjudged her. But maybe, just maybe because of the approach she took. Iman Umazikitan Yehane America. At first, I saw her as one of those young ladies, those teenagers that were in the habit of giving birth to innocent babies and throwing them into the streets. And maybe after the realities of life came back hitting at them, they sought to eat, rip where they did not sow. We have such cases in the past, and it's still happening. On Nekib, in my Hindu Little did I know that I was wrong about her. The woman seated before you was, and still in her shoes. My only child went missing many years ago. And up until now, my daughter is nowhere to be found. One of the reasons I took up this job, to cater for children. I'm still praying, hoping that one day God Will hear my prayer and bring back my daughter wherever she is. But there's something different the last time we met. What I saw in her the last time we met was so, so different sincerity. I saw in her eyes a young woman who is in deep pain and couldn't bear it all. So what I saw led us into conducting some investigations on her. I'm sorry to tell you this. We followed you, unknown to you. Yes. We were to go by what we came up with. Her claims will be right. The supposed woman that adopted the baby actually gave false identity of herself. Reasons yet or not. As hard as it might be, I am here to back you up. I am here to help you get back your child. You're lucky you still have yours. I've not seen mine. I've not seen mine up till today. 
though there are legal procedures to that. But the fact that the said woman gave false identity of herself at the point of adoption might be a plus to you. There is no harm in trying. I will fight with my last strength to make sure you get your baby back. Inugo, I will do that, believing I am doing it for myself. Once the maternity DNA test is confirmed, then we have passed the first phase. We don't need to worry. I will make sure you get your baby back. Once again, we apologize. I'm so sorry. The said child is dead. He died. He drowned last week in the village street. They killed him. It's all their fault. All in the name of protection. I will put you one mother so that they protect you. <laughs> and the poor child escaped. He followed his fellow children and went to the stream to swim. On your cousin's legacy, you Who taught him how to swim? Or tell me, Dilly Jalaf rise away, woman and Millie. And he got drowned. Hi. Hi. That isn't even enough. Lucia. Lucia couldn't stand the sight of the dead child. She passed out. She was quickly taken to the hospital where she was declared dead on arrival. Oh, 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 Lucia, as if that wasn't enough. The doctor found out she was two months and two weeks pregnant. Whether she knew or she did not know she was pregnant, I am as. And sister, his yoma has not been the same. His yoma has been acting abnormal. Hey! Did 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 Patience. It's a virtue. Impatience has never helped anyone. Didi Kanayo. Didi Kajaka. Didi Biju. Didi Kajaka. I should have listened to her. Hi. Oh, no. Let me, let me help you.
Who draw one?